My name is Mazi, and for 16 years I was a Trakosi slave. When I was eight years old, I discovered my family were planning to give me to the local shrine priest. I ran away but was caught and beaten badly. The following day I woke up at the shrine. I cried constantly until some of the other slaves told me that there was nothing I could do and I should stop crying. The Trokoshi practice is a traditional practice um, among the Eves. It actually comes out of their belief that um, the spiritual world um, actually coexists with the physical world. And so they believe that if there is an offense committed by someone in a particular family um, and the gods are unhappy, then there will be debts in, in the family. And um, if there are debts that are unexplainable or misfortunes, they will go to, um, they will go to someone, a uh, soothsayer, to find out what has happened. And the soothsayer would tell them they would have to send a virgin girl to go and live in the shrine. Um, and it's believed that as long as she lives in the shrine, um, the debts and the misfortunes are averted. Claims of physical and sexual abuse inside the shrines are commonplace. I was 13 when the priest began sleeping with me. If I refused, he would beat me mercilessly. I soon became pregnant, but because I was so young, I knew little about parenthood, so it was very difficult. I had to beg to the other Trakosi for food to survive. In total, I bore the priest four children. While I was at the shrine, a man called Walter Pingpong arrived to see the priest. He argued with the priest and was driven out of the village. Unfortunately, um, her priest did not want to liberate the women in the shrine, so Mercy had to run to us. The power of the priest rests in his ability to inspire fear. Many people believe that the priest can heal the faithful and destroy his enemies. Here, in this makeshift ward, the infirm and sick stay until the priest declares they are cured. In this ritualistic culture, free Trikosi are often shunned for abandoning the priest. When I escaped the shrine, I worried about where I would go with four children. I went to my parents, but they refused to accept me because I was a Trikosi. But with the assistance of international needs, have made a new life for myself something only a few years ago I would never have believed possible. Eight years ago, Macy was one of 5,000 Ghanaian women enslaved in the shrines. In West Africa alone, the figure is estimated to be 10,000. Giuliano was freed in the same year as Macy. Her story is equally distressing, both in its brutality and its familiarity. My grandfather stole some money. So the priest called me to the shrine to bring back the favor of the gods to my family. When I arrived, I was so scared and cried for many days. I worked for 16 years, and while I would farm for him, I often went hungry. Juliana hosts a weekly get-together for former Trikosi living in her area. The priests often claim they never have sex with the girls and that the women are well-treated. This is strongly disputed by the women. <laughs> If you refuse to have sex with the priest, then he will beat you and then demand more money from your family. All the women here today are former Trikosi. All have been forced to sleep with the priest. Juliana has remarried. However, two of her four children were fathered by the priest. The children are for me, and even though they came from the priest, they are born innocent. Some of these women leave the shrines not trusting men. Some do want to um, start life all over and, and desire to have husbands. In this community, we still have many people who believe in traditional religion, and they shun me. But there are also good people here, and I get on well with them. However, I have no trust in men, and because of this, I know I will never have a husband. People believe a Trikosi will bring bad luck, and they fear the children of the priest. But my husband is a very strong man and fears nothing. Six years ago, Juliana met James. They were married within months. 
I have taken the two sons of Juliana that were fathered by the priest, because the real father does nothing for them. I have decided to raise them and love them as my own. We are one big family. The campaign to free the Chokosi has forced the shrines to release thousands of women, but many remain enslaved. We have um, liberated a little over 4,000, um, 3,500 women. Although it has taken many years, both Macy and Juliana finally feel they have truly escaped the shrine. When I look at my daughter, it reminds me of the age I was sent to the shrine. I used to feel pity for myself and weep, but now I have grown beyond that. We are now independent, and my whole family is free. We are no longer slaves. Now we are free. We Trikosi can live as we choose. It brings me great joy to know that my daughters will never return to the shrine. <laughs>